Come on, Marco, show me your surfing haka. <laughs> it's going to be all over YouTube. Today's job, now that our crew have left us and we're on our own on the boat, we're starting to make preparations to head south towards Tahiti. But to do that, we need a lot of fuel. We've only got a quarter of a tank, and this is not one of those places where you can just pull your boat up to the dock, fill up your tank, and take off again. That's one round down and we have three more to go. So we're on our third run now of uh, transporting the diesel from the shore to Cheeky Monkey. Um, it's actually hard work, it's hot work, it's smelly work, all this diesel flying around. I just gotta be grateful because we've now been sailing for like Four or five years, four years since we left New York, but for years we've never had to ferry fuel from the shore to the boat. What's happening with our dinghy engine? I don't know, but we've got to find Vince on again, I think. We're just arriving to a little local uh, singing, dancing festival. We're going to talk really quiet. Sneaking up on a church. Very excited about this. And there are people here that we met in Fatu Hiba. Hey! <laughs> How are you? Hey. Where's your bonsoir? Which island is this right hey, now? Tahuata. Let's go and get a little closer. We've been threatening to leave for a few days now, but I think today is actually the day we're going to push off for Tawata, a beautiful little island with white beaches and manta rays. And in order to do that, we need to make sure we've got provisions for the next few months. You wanna come live on a boat like Monique? This has been our routine in Hiva Oa for the last week where we walk up the road for a bit and thumb a lift from somebody local. Bonjour, Atwana. Okay, what's on our list? We 
finished up our last little bits of provisioning, picked up some things from the hardware store, picked up a few little odds and ends from the grocery store, like those wonderful French baguettes that they make in the islands. And we're finally gonna push out of here. So today's the day we're leaving. Um, we have to get two anchors up, which is really unusual for us. We only normally have the bow anchor out. But here, because of the way this anchorage was set up, we had to put out a stern anchor as well for two reasons. One, to stop us really swinging onto the rocks, but also to hopefully keep the bow into the swirl, which comes in from the front of the anchorage. Put it over your... Uh... I've got two engines going. I need you to get me over this now. This okay. engine. Okay, reverse. Okay. Okay. Back. Drop back. Drop back. Let me show you what Ryan's doing. What are you looking for? A bubble? Ah, the tension to come off. I mean, we've got to work it out of the mud. Yeah. I'm inclined to just turn the engines off, get lunch. But if I can lift it up, then we should be in business. It's going to be muddy. Need help? <sighs> Oh, not that bad. After years of anchoring, we are so happy to have our wonderful windlass, which makes anchoring so much easier than before when Tash and I used to actually have to haul anchors up in the midday sun, in the rain, whatever, hand over hand. Um, unfortunately though, when you set a stern anchor, you have no windlass for that. We've only had to do it twice this trip so far, but I'm so glad because it's a pain in the ass to have to basically not just get the anchor up and down, but to actually put it together get the chain on it, get the line on it, make sure everything's set and is strong, just to get the thing out and then to do it all in reverse, covered in mud, to get it back up again. We're still not there, got a few more jobs to go. All right, down you go then. Hopefully the next anchorage we end up at, we don't need to put down a stern anchor. They're kind of a pain. Hiva O was one of those places that was just there for so long. And I'll be honest with you, it beat expectations for me. I liked it. I know people said it was like an industrial, not very nice little town, but... The people were just so yeah, nice. Everyone was just so friendly. I feel like after three days we knew everyone who lived here. And uh, some people lived on other islands, it turned out, who came to visit us. Yeah. the rough weather. We are 
arriving to Tawata to Baia Hanamanoa, which apparently is a very pretty little anchorage. What's that in the background? It's Aranui 5, the uh, passenger slash cargo ship that pulls into the island. Like okay, so here, look at this beautiful, 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 beautiful island. And just here? Yeah. There? is our anchorage. We're going to pull in there and chill out for a few days. I'm in frigate. Want we'll to get in front of the pack, huh? Yeah.